Chiori being the new character card that coming to the TCG alongside with the release of patch version of 5.1. While she may not have gained much attention in the main gameplay, does that mean she won't shine in the TCG as well? Not at all, she actually introduced a bit fresh style gameplay compared to previous character card. Before we dive into the game, let me explain a bit about how Jory will function in TCG. So, check this out. Jory normal attack, weaving blade, only deals 2 physical damage. Nothing too exciting about that, but her elemental skill is where things get interesting. Let's just jump straight to it. Her elemental skill, Fluttering Hesuit where you get to choose one of three Chiori Automaton tools, or as we call them, Tamuto. When you activate this skill, you will be presented with three different options on the screen. And here is where it gets interesting. Although you are presented with only three options, Chiori actually has five different types of Tamuto. Each type has two usage and deals one point of Geo damage during entries. What makes them unique is how they shape Jerry gameplay. Let's break them down. First up is the Crouchy Knife Wielding Tamoto. When this one is summoned on the field, it converts Jerry physical or normal attack damage into Geo damage and even push her normal attack Geo damage by one. With this Tamoto, you can transform Chiori into a DPS powerhouse. Next is the nothing to see here Tamoto. When this one is in your summon field, after using a skill, it allows you to switch to the next character. This can only happen once per round. Keep in mind, the next character will always be to the right. And the previous character is to the left of the active character 1. Then we have the effortlessly outclassing opponent Tamoto. This Tamoto is a follow up specialist. It deals 1 point of follow up Q damage once every round whenever a character other than Shiori uses a skill. This pairs incredibly well with character like Navia where you want to trigger crystallize as much as possible to maximize her potential. This one seems like a solid choice. Next, it's fighting with her eyes shoot Tamoto. This Tamoto increased the Geo damage dealt by Chiori and Tamoto by 1 with having to use it per round. And finally, there's the Bombastic Set I Tamoto, which reduces the elemental dice cost of Chiori Normal Attack by 1, and it can only trigger once per round. But wait, there's more? An extra Tamoto called Tranquilly Taking 10 Tamoto comes into play. It doesn't offer any buffs, it is just dealing 1 Chiyo damage during the end phase and has to use it. You might think no one will choose this Tamoto, right? Actually, it is a bonus that appear after using Chiori talent. Speaking of which, let's dive into her talent. When you equip Chiori talent card, she immediately use her elemental skill and let you choose from 4 Tamoto option instead of the usual 3. You will also receive the bonus tranquilly taking 10 Tamoto which adds a bit of extra damage. One more thing to note that you can summon up to 4 Tamotos on the field at once, but each one must be different.
Now let's move on to her elemental purse, Yoku Twin Blitz. This purse simply deals 5 points of geo damage, requires 2 energy and costs 3 geo dice. There's not much more to it. Well, enough talk. Let's just jump into the match. Enjoy the video and happy watching. find some inspiration.
it on. Let's go. 